the Sheldon Concert Hall talking about how to audition for music theater. This segment is part two to the previous segment, Fill in the Words, which was the song from their playing our song, which I'm sure you've already researched. So, We've talked about lyrics how, and how to analyze them. We know who we are, where we are, what is the scenario, what is that moment prior to you singing to make you have to sing, what is your objective, I want blank to give me blank. So now we need to figure out how do we put the music part of that, add it to the lyrics to help us achieve our objective. When you're listening to the music in your song, you want to ask yourself, how does this make me feel? What emotion does it stir up? Is it fast and spunky and, and gives me a lot of energy? Is it long and smooth and makes me a little bit sad? So you have to figure out what that emotion is and then go back to your lyrics and see if they work together. So I've got a couple examples of different kinds of accompaniments. So this is from a song called, I think I may want to remember today. And here's the accompaniment. If you will excuse me, I'll go to my room and write all this down in my book for, oh, I think I may want to remember today. So I think that they work well together because this person is excited about meeting this new person and she wants to go and write it all down and remember everything because she feels like she's in love. So it's that, that excitement of feeling that first sense of love and attraction to a person. Now, on the other side of that, I've got another piece, it's called Patterns, and this segment is from the middle of the piece, but it, it pretty much explains uh, another part of what we're talking about here. So here's the accompaniment to this. <laughs> section is where the big break came in the music. But never change. So that music really locks in with those lyrics and says the same thing both in the music and the lyrics and the melody. So those are the things that you're trying to find is what I'm hearing underneath. Does it have the same emotion that I'm feeling when I'm reading these lyrics? Is it a little bit different than the emotion I have when I read those lyrics? But in a weird way, it still kind of makes that objective work well. Sometimes there's a dichotomy between the music and the lyrics, and sometimes it makes that objective work even better. So now you've got your lyrics analyzed. Now you've looked at your music and you've analyzed your music. Now it's time to put them together and get ready for that audition. Mm -hmm. 